Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Outer Wilds. Last time when we left off, I mean we will be back at Brittle Hollow. If nothing else, I'm sure you noticed we never did anything inside or with the Black Hole Forge. The reason is we can't actually get to it directly from Brittle Hollow at all. We access it from Ash Twin, which we're going to explore later. So in terms of flying to the planet and exploring things, we finished off Brittle Hollow, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we have turned our attention to Giant's Deep. And we've also learned what that structure is that we see at the beginning of every loop. It's an orbital cannon that's firing a probe to look for the Eye of the Universe. It was built by the Nomai. But before I focus on actually exploring Giant's Deep, Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your persuasion, I have some achievement nonsense to do. There are two hard ones left in, uh, in terms of space flight, and I would say that this is the easier of the two hard ones. But I, I mentioned last time we have to white hole Quantum Moon. Nice. Uh, we have to fly it, fly into Giant Steep fast enough, hard enough to break through the current without using one of the cyclones that we just learned about in the Brittle Hollow Observatory. So I need to lock on, and I did a little looking just on how to get the achievement. And, uh, I need a lot more distance and a lot more speed than I initially guessed. I'm also going to have to do a better job of steering myself. Which is not awesome. But, uh, we need to hit the planet aimed reasonably well at the core, going at least 5,000 meters per second. And the way one does that, <coughs> excuse me, is by, uh, flying at least 350 kilometers away, which doesn't take nearly as long as the number might make you think. But, uh, what you, what I have also learned from this exercise is that uh, those white arrows are actually like leads that are sort of telling me which way I need to steer in order to stay on target to get to Giant Steep. So once we hit our 350, you know, I'm going to reverse and start flying toward the planet. And, uh... I can use those white arrows to try and stay aimed directly at it, more or less. All right. I guess we're doing more than 350. <laughs> That's okay.
Well, we've doubled the distance I intended to go because Newtonian physics and momentum. Yeah, it's all right. We'll spend an episode trying to get this achievement if we have to. Alright, we are now flying towards it. Are those other stars going supernova? Achieved the minimum speed. Here we go. I don't think, I don't know if it's gonna work. What are you doing? I was headed right for it. At ludicrous speed. Why the hell didn't that work? Oh, that's ridiculous. I was going way above the speed it said I needed. What gives? Oh, balls. What the hell happened to me just then? I don't know. It's clear I didn't break the current, though. Well, that is some bogus ass nonsense. That's what that is. <laughs> Let's try again. I... I don't fucking get it. We were headed right for it. At way over 5,000 meters a second. I don't understand.
Apparently there's another way. It's that video. I'm not gonna say it lied, but it sure didn't work. Fascinating. Maybe that's the way they meant for you to do it all along. So, another thing that apparently happens on Giant's Deep, and that's if we actually, like, go to the planet. Is, uh, some of the cyclones. You can't use the cyclone to go through, but, uh... There are, um, there are islands on the planet where, you know, you do a lot of your actual exploring. Like that. So if you can land on one of those, or get underneath it, If you can get underneath one of these pieces of land when it gets shot up into the atmosphere, it'll actually push you through. So. That, I think, is what I would like to do. Let's find a good one to land on. You'll do just fine, I think. I don't, I don't care about damaged landing gear. Not really. Lots of damage. I see. I get it. I get it. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> that didn't exactly work. Try it again. <gasps> We're fine. You just go, buddy. My game is suddenly lagging very profoundly. I find this disturbing. the quantum moon. It's not the first time I've seen it, but that's pretty cool. Of 
Oh, okay, this lag is, like, intolerable. Where's Dragon Steep? I can't see shit. There it is. This is the island that will work. So if I just wait... If I wait for a cyclone to launch this island up into space and I get under it... then it'll push me through the current and I should get the achievement. Fun, isn't it? Hey, come on now. Gotta focus. Okay, here we go. It's gonna happen. I gotta be ready. there. Look, we're in space. Okay.
didn't work. I got close. I got real close, but... I wasn't quite in exactly the right spot, I guess. Because there's definitely like a deepest part of the island you have to get to for it to work. I'm interested in trying again, if I can manage it this cycle. Fix the damage, so now we can try again. That was close. I just didn't quite, uh... Well, I wasn't quite lined up with the deepest part of this island like I need to be. Doesn't matter, we'll give it another whirl. Then if we fail again, we'll try again. It's got to happen at least twice per cycle, right? Achievements. Silly stuff. I mean, you gotta try.
I don't see another cyclone anywhere near me. I hear one though. Aha, there it comes. Alright, let's get ready. Yep, yeah, it's coming from the left. Alright, Holmes. Get ready. Here we go. Let's do it. Still not enough. That's harder than it looks. I'll tell you that. It's much harder than it looks. I'm about to get another shot. I'd like to fix that upper hole beforehand if I can. Not sure I can. Interesting. Apparently, um, you need higher speed if you've got better frame rates. Try one more time. Alright, well, I think I hear one. I see it off to the right there. It's probably my last try.
And then, you know, if I don't get the achievement this run, I'll restart the loop and I'll make some actual progress. <laughs> Just so it's not a total waste of an episode. That sound like a deal to everybody. That one over to my right just, like, I don't really hear it, and it doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, this is silly. Now I definitely hear one. Well, whether that one is off to the right, it's de it definitely is moving. But is that the one that's going to push me down anyway? So that won't count if it does. Okay, I hear one. Not sure where it's coming from, but let's get ready. I think it's coming directly from behind me. Yep. Hear music. Unfamiliar music. Achievement unlocked. Deep impact. Praise the sun. Ship log updated. Hot damn. We're through. Okay. Well, my ship log is updated. Let's start a new loop and see what it says and call it a video. How exciting. <laughs> oh, good. So glad I actually managed to get it. <laughs> okay. There's only one really hard achievement left now. The others are pretty easy, and, uh, well... But the one that's left is really hard. <laughs> And I'm interested in the ship log update, so we'll read that and then we're going to call it an episode. There are five achievements left total in the main game. One of them <clears throat> will tech it will technically require a second playthrough, but I'm going to go ahead and get it. One of the hidden ones is for beating it in the beating the entire game in the very first loop, which 